Ryan Chapman. We were with Maine. For this is the antique show. <laughs> David, 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 <laughs> David, he's not with us. David, okay. Calling this meeting to order, David. Oh, okay. I thought everybody. All right. Now, are the people missing? Um, we're gonna we're gonna uh, do a pledge of allegiance, but I want to I want to ask Gavin Wood, who's here. He's a Boy Scout, and he's here to observe our meeting. And Gavin, would you honor us by leading us in a pledge of allegiance, please? Okay. Wait till we all stand. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Gavin. Okay, so we have we have a quorum here, just barely, um, but that's all right. Barbara, if you would note that um, Steve Henderson had a funeral he had to go to, and uh, Danielle had a work commitment. So both of those people are excused tonight. Now, um, let's do an introduction of me, of our members, please, starting with uh, Sonny Kravitz. Kravitz. Okay, thank you. Regina Barnes, Board of Selectmen, Rep. Okay, I am Stephen LeBranch, the Chairman. Mike Flo. Jones. David Mara. Bob Ladd, Village District Representative. And we have Barbara Kravitz with us as our minutes recorder. And we have also just arriving, um, Brian Lapham. You can st sit up here, Brian. I've got a, um, I've already got the thing for you. Uh -huh. the, uh, the agenda for tonight and the Warren articles. And, um, and I see that we have John Kane from the Hampton Beach Village District with us as well, sitting at the, the, the desk. So um, the first thing on the um, the, the next thing on the agenda is the we're going to be going over the Hampton Beach Village District 2018 money warrant articles. So I've given you the warrants. I also emailed you everybody a copy of the commissioner's proposal um, broken down by the, the two warrant articles. So do I hear a motion on article two? And by the way, if you look at your paperwork, that I gave you. Article 2 has a, I made a mistake, um, it shouldn't, it should say 62,985, not 2,985. So just make a note of that. That will be corrected, of course, before the warrant is posted. So, um, yeah, 62,984. Do I hear a motion to move Article 2? I'll move it. Motion by Mike Plouffe, seconded by Regina. Okay, do I see any, anybody on this committee have any questions regarding Article 2, which I'm going to read right now just for the record. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth on the budget posted with the warrant to raise and appropriate the sum of $62,985 for the Hampton Beach Village District General Government, in parentheses, exempt? budget purposes, in addition to <coughs> any amounts that may be approved for special articles. Approved by the Commission is 300. Any questions from this committee regarding this warrant article? I have a statement, if I may. Um, go ahead, please. The uh, village district, uh, just like I said, you 90, does not put the tally votes of this budget committee uh, on its ballot. And for that reason, just like I said, 90, 90, I will be abstaining from votes. Well, actually, if you look, it says in parentheses, um, approved by the commission is 300, and then there's in parentheses, approved by the budget committee, and at the present time, it doesn't show any numbers, but it most certainly uh, the previous could. year, it did do the tallies? Oh, I don't know, Tim. I couldn't. Right. I, you're asking I, the wrong I, person. I am not aware that the commission is, took a vote to put the tally votes on. So uh, I, this I, is news to me. Okay. It's good news if it's true. I could perhaps clarify that. Sure. Go ahead. Our last vote was to not put the budget committee votes on the ballot, and we would be voting that again at our March meeting prior to the general meeting. Okay. So, uh, and if, if, the, if an explanation for that is needed, basically it's a different form of government 
then the town. The town is an SB2 form of government. The village district is an open town meeting form of government. So anyone voting on these articles would have to attend the meeting and listen to the arguments for and against each one of the proposals prior to the vote. The analogy I would make would be if the deliberative session in a town voted on the town budget and you couldn't vote until the arguments were presented, that would be something like what the village district is. So it isn't the same form of government. Okay, well, I, I noticed that that's on there, but, yeah. but what, it, what it will say is, um, and I think by law you have to put it, it will not put the totals, but it will at least put whether the budget committee approved it or not. And that'll that would depend on our vote at the March 14th. <laughs> well, that'll depend on our vote tonight at this budget committee. Okay, that's if what we, I'm saying about approved by the municipal budget committee. That part. Uh, yeah. Well, no, we're not saying it's. Yeah. What we're saying, we have not voted yet to put the numbers to put yeah. the vote of this committee on the wall. Yeah. Okay. The um, so if any I may, other any if other I may continue. Uh, any other yes continue please so the commissioners last year did not put the tallies on I believe the year before they did not put the tally vote on um, and for that reason they are suppressing the any minority voice expressed in that minority vote uh, and I object to that I think that the public has a right to know they're denying the public the right to know that just as SAU 90 does and just as I abstain with SAU 90 I will be abstaining tonight Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. I want to mention that um, there was at some point a um, somebody thought that perhaps it might be a conflict of interest for me to sit here as chair since I am the treasurer, the elected treasurer of the village district. Um, that was that was an opinion. Um, however, I want to announce that I will be abstaining from voting for both of these money warrant articles so that there's no uh, nobody can say a conflict of interest exists yet I still am elected to this uh, this budget committee and I've taken a sworn oath as well and I am the chairman so I'm not going to step down I'm going to run this meeting I simply will announce right now that I will be abstaining from voting on both of these money warrant articles okay go ahead please normally in the years past if each had their meetings before the deliberative session. No, Tom. Never. No. 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 This is the only year I remember oh. having this. Because oh, yeah. 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 was March. Because yeah. Val's probably printed already, isn't it? No. No, no it's no, not. No, it's not. No, no, no Sonny. But Sun it is printed. The, the village district has the last Friday of March. That's why this meeting is later than all yeah, the other town right. meetings. I, it's never happened So uh, this way we can post everything after this meeting. I understand. And I want to apologize. I was late. Um, the Winnicott Warriors Alpine Ski Team, which is a new team this year, had a fundraiser and, at the GOAT. And uh, someone parked in front of my car, so I had to find someone to move, <laughs> to, so I could get out of the out of get here. So I'm sorry that I'm late, but it was a good cause. When it kind of high school has never had a, a ski racing team, and they do now, and they're doing fantastic. So just uh, if you get out there and support some of these kids, there I think there's eight or ten kids on the team, and and they're they're doing amazing. They've got some great coaches, and uh, so that, that is why I'm late, but they're, they're great kids. So. Okay, well, I want to um, announce, of course, that we have with us, sitting at the table, John Kane, the, the marketing director for the Village District and chairman of the commissioners, Chuck Rage. Um, and we're very fortunate, of course, to have Bob Ladd here, who is also a commissioner at the Village District. Um, and, and also coming in a little bit late, um, Brian Lapham is here sitting next to Sonny. So, um, so any other questions from this committee for the, um, the general government? General government, this warrant article? Mm -hmm. Seeing none, okay, we're going to vote. Those in favor of, oh, wait a minute. Those in favor, please raise your hands. So we have Brian, we have Sonny, we have Regina, we have Mike Plouffe. We have Bob Ladd. Those opposed? 
and those abstaining. Stephen LeBranch, um, Citizen Jones, and David abstaining. Okay, so it's um, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, zero, three. So that has, that warrant article has been approved. Next, we have warrant article three. I'm going to read it quickly. Shall the district vote to accept the budget as set forth in the budget posted with the warrant to raise and appropriate the sum of $760,207 for the Hampton Beach Village District Culture and Recreation, and then in parentheses, non-exempt, budget purposes in addition to any amounts that may be approved for special articles. Approved by the Commission is 300. Do I have a motion? A motion by Mike Plouffe and seconded by Regina. Anybody on this committee have any questions regarding Article 3 for the Hampton Beach Village District? Seeing none, <clears throat> we will vote. Um, those in favor of this Warren Article, please raise your hands. We have Brian and Sonny, we have Regina, we have Mike Plouffe, and we have Bob Ladd. Those opposed? Oh, excuse me. Okay, and those abstaining? Okay, um, Barbara, you have Steve LeBranch, uh, Tim Jones, and also David uh, Moya. So, so we're finished. That uh, that was approved. Then five zero three. Now, at this time, it is um, seven. It's exactly. Come on, baby. It's seven thirteen p.m. I will now open a public hearing for the two warrant articles. So the public hearing is open at 713, Barbara, please note. Anybody from the public wishing to um, ask any questions or make any comments regarding these two warrant articles for the Hampton Beach Village District? Seeing none, <coughs> seeing none I close this public hearing at 714. PM, Barbara, please note that time. Um, thank you very much for coming in tonight. Gentlemen, we're all set with the village district. And thank just thank just, you very much. Yeah, just as a little uh, Sonny, I just want to explain one little thing, okay? The village district had a workshop a couple of weeks ago where they prepared, the commissioners prepared this, okay? For the, and those are your two warrant articles with all the numbers, okay? This is, the, this is very similar to the selectmen's proposed budget that they bring to us, okay? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just a different format, of course. And we vote on those to recommend or not recommend. And, of course, then it goes to the deliberative session, and then the people vote in the first week of March. We haven't changed anything. This is the, it's the same way the village district has come to us tonight with this proposed budget. This is their proposed warrant, and that's, that's, it's perfectly legal, okay? Now, I do want to mention that before the commission is, before you leave, Chuck, yeah. I have a, um, a, a, the warrant article that, I know Maureen isn't around, but that needs to be signed so it can be posted. So if you could sign it, and I'll have Bob sign it, and then I will, um, I will witness it as the justice of the peace, and that way, this will be available to be posted. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got something for you as well. So hold on, folks, at home just for one minute. Um, okay. And then I will witness that. Okay. Where's my pen? You would not have my pen. You're always always take your pen. I know you do. You should bring two. Let me see. This is the 20th. Yeah. Okay, so getting back to our meeting. Um, thank you very much. We're all set with you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.
That was the quickest one I've ever been to. There you go. Well, we're very efficient here. It's 12 years, I think. We are very efficient here. You're on top of your game. I know. I'm glad I came in. Okay. <laughs> now, I have, I have for this committee, um, I need some signatures on these two MS-737 forms that are for the, um, that need to be sent to the DRA, okay? Uh, the New Hampshire Department of Revenue Administration. So I'm going to send these down in this direction. I've already signed it. If you would please print your name and then sign it. Um, there are two separate ones because, of course, there are two Warren articles. Okay. So now, while that's taking place, um, I would like next on the agenda we have a presentation from our committee member, Tim Jones. Tim, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> I'm going to be making a presentation. You want to know why? It's uh, right up there on the screen. It'll tell you. Yeah. Chairman requested Brian and that Sonny, I do. If you want to turn around, you can see what he's talking about. Requested I do an overview of how I send out the uh, list of emails that you guys have been receiving uh, by meeting and uh, how we might go about sending email and how I send them out by topic as well. And so I'm going to give a little bit of a brief on this. Um, very short, I hope. This is one example of an email uh, that you've all, many of you have seen. This one happens to be actually from uh, uh, this current year. Uh, notice the various snippets along with the complete video of a particular meeting. This is an example of a uh, video email by meeting. So all of the, the entire meeting is there along with all the snippets that were created from it. Most of the, vi the uh, videos are from the uh, Board of Selectmen meeting and the Budget Committee meetings, though others are occasionally covered um, if they have a particular value. <laughs> Was something humorous about that? No, I just, no. This is an example of another, e another email, uh, uh, this one by, by a topic, and also an example of another meeting of particular interest. Um, this was from 2015 that I sent it out. Notice the different committee members on the email list. And, and this was me sending out uh, email with video links to a topic that were occurring on that budget committee night, uh, the upcoming budget committee night, so that the budget committee members had an opportunity to review the videos as they saw fit. This is another example of, uh, of an email. Uh, this one was of a particular interest, not the Budget Committee necessarily, and certainly not the Board of Selectmen necessarily. Uh, last month's governor's meeting at the beach, uh, I found to be of particular interest, so I grabbed that as well. Now, videos by, video emails by topic is a different kind of a scenario uh, from how, in terms of how I do it. It's mostly a manual thing. Uh, it requires a, a degree of technical um, skill, shall we say. And to go into all of that it would bore, bore you at length, so I'm not going to. Uh, but the chairman's request did inspire me to take an existing thought I had and put into action. And so I will show you uh, that uh, inspired product. So what I'm going to show you shortly is a proof of concept, a prototype, if you will, uh, of how the current website, which only exists on my PC, it is not on the Internet. Uh, last year's presentation, as you may recall, was on the Internet. It was uh, cloudmetaworks.com. Uh, it's still out there. I haven't changed it from last year. Uh, but what I did was I took it, a copy of it on my PC and have been enhancing it to reflect this new inspiration uh, provided, by the, uh, by, by, provided by others, including the chairman. So uh, what I'm going to show you is ways that you can select uh, videos uh, in multiple ways by meeting, by interactive selection, as well as by a topic of your choice. Uh, it's a work in progress, but it's enough to demonstrate the concept. Uh, it's not on the internet, as I said. More fine-tuning is needed. As it is, it will save me much time in generating the videos by topic that you guys have all come to love over the last few years. Okay, so I'm going to go over to that now and uh, see what we can screw up here. So, um, 
we've got a couple browsers open up here. This is a browser that I use. You can see that I'm logged in as tech support uh, because I am tech support. So I have much more, uh, much broader access to various programs because of the tech support. So I'm not going to show you a lot on that. But I do have another browser in here, which I'm opened up as nobody. Just see I'm not logged in at all. So here, just like on, on, on Meta, uh, MetaCloudWorks.com, you've got the same basic concept here, where you've got meetings. Uh, this Right now I'm showing you the most recent meetings. I could show you all the meetings and of all time. Uh, which is like 1,385 or 84 meetings. Uh, you can see I've got pagination in here. And I can select any meeting and go to the details, and you can see I've got two, uh, eight videos on this particular selectman meeting, one document, which is apparently the agenda, which I can then open up and read. Um, so again, the last year, this is pretty much the same as, as you saw last year, where you have the ability to go to a particular meeting and grab documents and videos simultaneously uh, and watch whatever topic you want uh, like the famous should the uh, should what else meet with the governor uh, slice so you just click on that I want to bring something up I just want to, I'm going to say this and uh, it will play don't attack me right away let okay. me finish saying what I say <laughs> so and you just click it to pause it if you want and we'll, we'll move on to others but uh, you get a general sense of how you can go to um, you know, uh, the state house representatives were also met on that same meeting. You can go right over to you know, to I that particular snippet about some of the and watch and watch it very uh, easily. Again, if you really want to watch the uh, or read the agenda, they don't have the minutes up yet, but there's the agenda. So we'll go back to the list of meetings, and you can see you can do this basically with uh, all the meetings. You have the one on there, for Tim, from the governor. Um, yeah, well, well, I can get to that a little bit later. Um, it wasn't technically a meeting. It was a non-meeting meeting, technically. But uh, So you can see you can go through all of these meetings. You can do a search for a particular whatever you want, and I'll demonstrate that search feature in a minute using the videos. So right here we're under the meetings tab. I'm going to go over the videos where most of the excitement has been taking place in terms of my own workout. Uh, and you can see here... Uh, so I should explain what I have here, is what you're seeing is two rows in red, and the reason they're red is because they're in what I call my shopping cart. Even though I'm not logged in, the last time I was here, I selected two videos. The last time I was in this browser. And this is stored in the browser's database on your computer. Whether you're logged in or not, your shopping cart is remembered. Okay? And you can see... I need to improve this interface a little. Like I said, this is a prototype. You can show all the selected. There are three, actually, that are in the shopping cart. And I can remove them and get myself a clean world. Okay? Tim, i got a question. Uh, you're putting something up on the ceiling to, to tape these meetings? No, Sonny. You answer it. That's I'm not sure what the question is. A good is. question, Sonny. What he does is he simply goes on to the Town oh. Channel 22 website and he downloads it. Except the, sometimes you get you download it before the town, before <laughs> Channel 22. <laughs> well, that's, you know, but that's where he's, he's getting it from the Channel 22 people. That's oh, the source. Okay. Right. Okay. There are occasions when... I have taken it directly off the TV as it was running live yeah, that's uh, because of it was of particular timely interest. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, I am taking it off the uh, website of the uh, town's cable TV uh, video list. Okay. Okay, so <coughs> okay, continue, Tim, please. Okay, so this is now the, the video list. You can see it's kind of sort of similar to what you saw earlier with the guide to the meeting list. It's a very similar layout. Um, and right now I'm just looking at budget committee, but I can look at all of As you can see, I have, as I said earlier, I take uh, video snippets or even entire videos of other bodies other than budget committee and board of selectmen. So you can see the cable TV has been meeting, and they've been uh, 
producing videos of their meetings. And so you can go right there and get all of their, uh, but just by clicking on cable TV on that. And so we also have the town meetings. You see I have video snippets from town meetings that go back uh, some degree of time. By the way, most of the town meetings, they take a lot of video snippets because I generally do one snippet for each one article. So you're know, talking 40, 50 snippets per meeting. Um, but just show you some of the features on here. Just like the other one, you can sort by date just by clicking up here. Sort in both directions. So you can see I got video, I got deliberate sessions going back to 2009. Okay. You can also sort by video length, video type, whether it's partial or complete, for example. Uh, but let's get back to. I guess you guys would be mostly interested in the board selectman, wouldn't you, Gina? Sure, why not? <laughs> So let's go to the selectmen. <clears throat> but actually, we could do all. You can see it'll take a while. 2,177 videos. So now we're going to be looking at all of them. Do you have the village district on there, too? Um, Some of them. I'll show you the list again. Um, they should be there somewhere. Yeah, Hampton, right there. I can't read it. What does it say? I, well, I can't see it from here. Yeah, right? It says Hampton Beach VD Commissioners Meeting. I'll take you. Yeah, okay. So there is a category for the village yeah, district. Yeah. Does Channel 22 have any idea how many people sure. actually watch Channel 22? Well, I'm not Channel 22, and I would, probably, no, I would I say to you there is no mechanism for them to, do, to know that. Right. I mean, it's not like the Nielsen ratings are coming out on uh, Channel 22, you know. So. Um, okay, so here we are looking at all. You saw when I select all how fast that populated this and I have again the ability to so in this case because I selected multiple bodies I could sort by body name and I can sort of course by date just like before and some of these are like from unknown some of them are just interesting videos I picked up that are not go directly government related I got one from 1995 when Steve Jobs was doing a, a, a bit on antiquated accounting uh, which was used sometimes to explain why I believe that we had opportunities for improvement in some of our areas there. Um, so there are very few of those, probably less than a dozen. But mostly you're talking about uh, the Board of Selectmen uh, and the uh, town meeting and the... Uh, well, actually, you know, we can actually do a little thing. Go over the meetings. We can select all right here. So we're back to meeting, selecting all, and we can do a sort based on the actual video count. So who has the most video counts? The Budget Committee from 2014, 78 video counts, all right, 78. Number two, Budget Committee of 2014, 58 video snippets. Town meeting, 49, town meeting, 47. So you can actually, you know, look at that that way. So because you can sort by the number of videos in a particular, uh, by you know, by meeting. So back to the uh, video list where I'm selecting all. Okay, so now you can just basically type in uh, any topic of interest that you might have. Anyone have a topic? Governor Sinero. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that meeting. The non meeting. The non meeting. <laughs> With the sound correct. <laughs> With the sound to it, exactly. Yeah. It you was a meeting, that? it just wasn't a selectman's meeting. <laughs> no, it was a selectman's meeting, technically, because you had three selectmen there. But it was a non meeting there meeting. There was no agenda. It was a non meeting meeting. Yeah, right. Which means no decisions were made, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, so is that one is that there or do you want to pick a different one? Deliberative session? There's <laughs> nobody there either. <laughs> <laughs> Budget committee meeting. <laughs> Side, well, sidewalks are off, often discussed, and you can see. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. So, are the snippets like just the like how the agenda is set up, or do you do that on your own? Like what, how it's going to be? No, I do it primarily. I do it. Uh, you know, I, when I initially started doing this, Regina, I was doing it for my own research as a budget committee member. Well, right. first as a citizen, you know, every now and then I grab something I thought was interesting, and then I get kind of interested, and I join the budget committee. And I realized it was useful for my budget committee work. So I started grabbing snippets that were of interest to that. Oh, no. And then I realized there was a lot of conversation going on about what facts are, you know, arguments about whether one plus one really is two or not. You know, the basic facts we shouldn't have an argument about. Right. And so I decided that maybe if I shared more videos, 
with people, there'd be a more common understanding of what was actually said and so forth. So then I started grabbing video snippets that I thought were of uh, topic to um, upcoming budget meetings. And then it became broader still. So this just becomes a snowball where I'm creating more and more. But they're actually made by me uh, based on the, on the criteria of them being of interest currently or likely to be of interest going forward or likely a follow-up to past areas of interest. Okay? So it's kind of a long criteria, but that's basically what it is. Got another question. Mm -hmm. When Channel 22 comes on the TV at home, because you're not amplified here, you know, you have to turn the volume on your TV, basically double it, because the sound is too low mm -hmm. that they're recording. You know, they, I think Channel 22 needs some technical help. Actually, Sonny, um, Tim, are you going to talk about... I will go to your Sununu presentation Enhancement, piece, okay? for instance... The Sununu uh, piece or email that you're referring to is this. The email I wrote said many had a problem with the audio portion. That was a video of Governor Sununu's public forum on the town website, which is located here. Wait, let me read this. So I have enhanced the audio to make a more right. comfortable listening experience. <laughs> now, Tim sent that out to every, I believe, all the budget committee meeting, uh, committee committee members and also the selectmen and also a bunch of other people that were at that meeting because the problem was that and I'm so happy he did it because I wanted to watch the meeting again and I couldn't hear anything because the you couldn't hear the sound and so Tim please you tell the story are so, you leaving yeah. thank you very much for coming in best of luck with everything okay have so a good, have a good night this this is the video on the town's website all right. And, you know, guess what? You know, Steve had a real problem with this video. A lot of people, a lot of people did. You can see that the speed, as you all probably have the experience at home, when you when you move the, the scroll bar over, it takes a while to catch up with itself. And, uh, you know, these are other problems that exist. Uh, so I'm going to uh, basically... Give up on this because it's too damn slow. I think. But don't you want? You know, do you need to do that to get the enhanced version? Now, see, oh, there, so? there is the beautiful Regina oh. Barnes, oh. and you can, you can, you can, you can clearly and distinctly hear the wisdom of her words in this piece, right? right. You can't, you can't yes, hear I any? talk with my hands. Right, right. you can't yeah. hear anything. I thought it was enhanced. Yeah. No, no, this is what's on the town's <laughs> website. I understand it. It's but definitely. We get the hands and we can hear it. I'm going to get you that in a moment. Good. Patience, David. So, <laughs> this is now coming up, the video that I, the enhancement of that same video uh, that Steve so much wants me to show you. So, I think that other one was at like 120. They try to move that up. That makes perfect sense. So, 120 was it? Was that one uh, oh. Regina was speaking, 120? Uh, <laughs> well, you want to? Sometimes. It couldn't be. I think I was before Mike, but I don't remember. Same way as it is done for Mike. every other bar, maybe it was twenty hotel, minutes rather than twenty. Restaurant in the entire state. Are we supposed to carve out a little niche? There she is. So now that's Regina talking on the enhanced version of the same video. You notice I didn't change the volume on my PC ago, at all. The beginning of this month, we suffered a pretty, I don't even know what you call it, a blizzard uh, flood. So that's what Steve was so desperate for me to show you, and I just had to break from my routine and show it to you. So, you know, that's... Well, that's actually, I think that would, yeah. that's extremely important. That's exactly what you want, correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, there is, it is. To yeah. be fair now, the cable cable TV does a, does a, does a really good job. They, 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 there's opportunities for improvement. The only occasionally do I have to do an audio enhancement uh, of any note, okay? So I, mean, I don't want to be beaten up on them because they do a lot of work and uh, they're a very valuable resource to this town. Uh, go ahead, Sonny. Sorry. You, you had a question? As you know, I wear hearing aids. When we went to the deliberative session, whoever was doing that meeting, you know, at the high school, 
it was amplified fine without the room was, the speakers were amplified so I could hear without without wearing these things. Same thing on channel thirteen. Technically, when we had the meeting at the academy, that was channel thirteen. You could hear the speakers. You know, it's only down here where they don't amplify this room. So I have to wear these things. Yeah. You know, they need something. Well, on actually, their, I asked in their, you not on their defense, on their defense, Sonny, help, they are. Yeah, I talked to Bill tonight, um, and they've ordered the equipment. They've ordered a lot of equipment, including a new, um, including a new uh, camera, or whatever they call that thing up there, because all of the equipment they have is analog. It's old. Mm. So they've ordered all this digital equipment, and it's, you know, over a period of time, this, it's going to get... This is, this is not the I'm time sorry. to talk Channel 22. I'm sorry. Right. Tim, okay. uh, please continue, Tim. The, the bottom line is Channel 22 does a good job, but the videos I take come from Channel 22. <clears throat> Very few of them do I have to do uh, any real enhancements to. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I find I don't watch them. So on, you pick up a tape from Channel 2? I don't pick up a tape. I take it right off the website. Oh, but it's not posted? before you yeah it is not necessarily sometimes as I, I said sometimes I will I will take it live off the TV yeah. right but that's a rare thing uh, I mean it like less than one percent of the time really kind of rare so the, the quality of what I'm putting up uh, on on my uh, site which I'll show you one of the videos uh, from this room on my website and you'll see there's no audio issue there uh, but in any case, let me go back to, to this. So here I am in the meetings. I'm searching all body names. You can see the body name is all here. And I'm selecting as my search criteria, sidewalks. When I remove it, you can see all these here. So I type in sidewalk. Because sidewalk is often a topic. And you can see that now I'm just looking at Video snippets that have the keyword sidewalk in it. I can shoot right now. I'm showing only 10 entries. I can show it like 100 at a time. Piece of cake, see? Now, it's still got a lot. And so it's hard. To, if you do a research on sidewalks, what's been said on at meetings on sidewalks in the, in the past, there's still a lot to consume. So you need to, like, how do we, how do we narrow this down a bit? So you may want to choose, like, well, let's sort this by date. Well, I got topics all the way back to 2012 on sidewalks. Uh, that's probably way earlier than I want. Let me start from the present, sort again, and say, well, maybe I just want. Uh, and then here's where the shopping cart comes in. You just click on that, and you can see, I click on my shopping cart. It's being added as I click on them. You can see that little plus sign to add it, and a little X to remove it. So I'll just pick the, the top three here and say, okay, so there we go. We've selected three videos of interest to me. Uh, again, I'm not logged in, remember. So in my shopping cart, I have this little manage button. And this manage button will actually take me to another page, which will give me an opportunity to see uh, what's in my cart and actually change the ordering. I put it in the simplest way of doing ordering, in my opinion, is numerically. So I'll just change that to a one. And uh, it will be reordered, as you can see. So now here I have two options. Here I can email the contents of the cart, or I can create what I call a, a new project. All right. Well, neither one of them I can really do because I'm not logged in. All right. But when I when I say email the cart, prepare the email. Say that you cannot click on that button because you need to sign in to use this feature. So I will sign in as not tech support, but as plain old Citizen Jones. And it will take me back to that page that I was just at, so I don't have to go finding it again. And I can say, okay, I really do want to email that cart. And so here I am. You'll notice it doesn't ask me who I'm going to send it to because when you're just a citizen or just a logged in user, I should say, uh, not a member of a body. Uh, the only option you can do is to email it to yourself. Once you receive it, then you can forward it to whoever you like. All right, and I do that for security reasons. I don't want just the world coming in and putting in fake e email addresses and just wasting the uh, 
the site. Even though this is not on the internet yet, I expect that some version of it will eventually be. So I, I build in, build in a lot of these kind of security features and permissioning uh, levels. Uh, so just click on email this to me, and it will be emailed to my email address. You'll notice my email address is in no way exposed to the internet. Okay. If I were to go over to, uh, that's not the one I want. Uh, there we go. This is my tech support uh, account. I'm logged in as tech support on this browser. And if I go into videos here, you can see I have a few more options, few more buttons on the left there, where I can get into. And these buttons would may or may not be enabled for other logged in users or. These are permissioning kind of things that have to be decided by, uh, you know, someone who's actually going to adopt the software, if anyone were. Otherwise, I'll just keep using it myself and not care. But essentially, this is what I can do. I can actually look at meeting details directly from the video page. Um, but I also have, you can see, four videos in this case on in my cart. And likewise, I can manage this. And I can say, well, email me this cart. Now, notice... The two, who am I sending it to, magically pops up because, well, I'm a member of a body or I'm tech support. So I have the option, the default is to just mail it to myself, which is me, or I can mail it to the entire budget committee. Um, again, if you were on the budget committee, you know, and Citizen Jones hasn't been put on the budget committee as far as the database is concerned yet, and that's why he didn't have the option to send it to the budget committee. Okay. Tim, Saturday, the town's website crashed. No, it didn't crash. They were working on it. Yeah, they were. Oh, on well, they were working yeah. on it because I called the library and spoke to the IT person there, and they said they may be working on it or it may have crashed because you couldn't get on to the town's website. They, closed, they had it Saturday. offline all weekend, Sonny. Yeah, I was aware of it because as you see from these meetings, uh, you'll see I've got, for example, the details on this meeting. I've got three documents on the February 5th uh, selectman's meeting. Those documents don't magically appear. I have uh, code that actually goes out to the town website and scrapes all that information off the town website. So I was running that code to get the database refreshed over the weekend when the uh, website was down. It's a great opportunity for me to, uh, to test uh, the fragility of my code. So it was great to see that it worked. It correctly told me the website was down and uh, nothing bad happened, <laughs> at least from my point of view. <laughs> so now they were just working on it uh, this weekend. And, and that will happen from time to time when you need to refresh code or whatever. There will be moments in time when the, 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 the site just needs to be down. Right, Regina? Yeah, that's what they were doing. Hmm. Um, so those documents are just things that like we would have received in the meeting yeah. that you have on there? Yeah. They're just easily available to you. So Right. For example, if so you, you don't actually, have to watch the meeting and then go find the stuff. Exactly. That's the beauty of right. the data integration saving a lot of time and research. Yeah. If you actually look at this, you can see on the on the very bottom of the screen there, how it may be hard to read, but that's the address that the link that my mouse is on would link to. And if you read that address, it's actually going to the town hall website for this document. Yeah. I did it one time in my in the one I did last year. I actually copied the documents up to my website as well. Uh, I decided that was a, kind of a waste of resources, but I can still enable it if I wanted to. But I just didn't want to. So uh, basically, that's it uh, in terms of. Uh, I think I've shown you pretty much everything, except maybe you want to see the email that I sent. I don't know. Do you want to see that? Let me go over to my famous email. I believe I sent one to Citizen Jones. And ought to be. There we go. So that's the email. Now, I should note uh, one other thing here is that the email is kind of rough. Uh, but let me go back to my uh, videos here and get that uh, cut. So when I actually manage this thing and I go and say, email this thing, I can actually change this. 
uh, you know, whatever, whatever I want to say here. And I could actually change this too, where it just says videos. I could say um, fun videos or whatever, you know, just fun. Uh, I can put more information in here. Uh, thought you'd be interested in, you know, that blood. So this is a complete uh, web editor that's built in there. You can actually edit even this if you didn't like the word department and you just wanted to see uh, DPT, for example. You could change that. Interesting. And so it gives the user an ability to customize it to his needs. Right? And similarly, when I go back here, I can say, well, I want to create a new project. So remember before last year, I talked about implementing tags. And I gave some thought about implementing tags. That's where you put a, a kind of a label on every, every uh, video. And that becomes a nightmare to manage uh, and administer. And I thought maybe projects might be better. And so I created this concept of a project, and this is where a user gets to create a project, and you can actually, and when I click that button, this is what was created, an actual project, and I can change the name of the project, you know, and, you know faves, you know, whatever. It sounds like it's something you could market, you know, maybe you can market it to some hackers, or maybe the Russian government and pay you some money for it. Make a bot. <laughs> Actually, you could think of this as a shield against the Russian oh, government. Shield is because what this is, what this is actually showing, is an ability <laughs> is an ability for the the, the citizenry uh, to look at the facts. Because I'm putting you no know, opinion in here, just facts. And so, it, when someone wants to put out says, disinformation, you can readily go in here and say, "Well, these are the facts as presented." Huh? So it's actually a shield against disinformation. Now, that's what that's what research that's what research tools when when you have good research tools you're defending you you you're automatically uh, uh, have an immunity to uh, disinformation and distortions that uh, some uh, uh, less desirable people may want to inject into the uh, public discourse which is something that you all know is a constant irritant of mine so uh, <laughs> All I know is when I clean my computer once a week, there's probably about 160 registers that are grabbing me when I go to the website. So, Well, that's a different topic. I'm uh, well aware. That's next week. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we In any case, yeah, so basically this is a project, so you can edit the project, and you can actually say here, for example, whether you want the project publicly visible or not, whether people can actually see your project exists. By default, they're not going to be able to see it, but you can enable it later at any time, edit it, whatever. Well, Channel Two could. Thank you, Sonny. Well, they, uh, could do, they could pick up your service and break the meetings down so that you. Okay. You, thank you, Sonny. That is an interesting point. Uh, Would you have any thoughts on that? Are you finished with your uh, presentation? Well, he is. I just have. Yes. <laughs> I meant to bring this quick, but you guys seem to be very interested. No, 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 no. That's just okay. Gonna be no, short. the question I have at the moment. I'm the just going thing. to finish no, up with one slide. Right. One okay. person at a time now. Okay. Are so you finished. The budget committee creates fifty million dollars in various budgets each year, in addition to weighing in on other money worn articles, again, total over forty million dollars. During the course of our diligent work, we need to digest an enormous amount of information and do it in a relatively short amount of time, about three months of calendar time, within approximately 30 hours of meetings. This is an incredible task that we all have experienced. Uh, to better assimilate the enormity of information, we need better tools and research for tools in particular, and this is one example uh, of, of that. So with that, I will simply say, I would welcome any questions and comments you have. Okay, so now now we can do some questions for Tim if you want. Okay, so I yeah. recognize Sonny. I understand you're running for the Board of Selectmen, right? There's been rumors to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, my question is how much you're paying for votes, that's all. <laughs> we don't we don't do that in this country, Sonny. Where do you think you are? In Russia? No, no, tell me. <laughs> yeah, my name is not Tim Oskowski. It's uh, just uh, Timothy Citizen yeah. Jones. No, no, I think you know Channel Twenty could, could could put the videos up in snippets. It'd be it, it's a useful tool. I agree. Thank you. And I'm glad you're running. I suggested you a couple of years ago you were running. I remember. 
Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate your support. Oh, my next question is, how much are you paying for the folks? <laughs> we already well, I am. All the candidates. I will answer you. I am paying in my in my best work I can bring forth. And that's the work. That's the pay I'm bringing to bear on the matter. That was a good answer. I'm up for re-election also, so. Yes, good luck. you're paying for your vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how much is, how much is How many times you want to vote? <laughs> <laughs> He's handing out free subs from Subway. <laughs> okay, um, any other questions for Tim from this? Oh, I'm sorry. Regina, no, I agree that that would be a good tool for, I think, all boards and committees and whoever, because, I mean, I know when I go to watch, like, I watched a zoning board meeting the other night, a planning board meeting. And it just it takes forever, you know. I think a lot. If it was something like that, I think people my age, when they get home and get the kids settled down, and you know, I could tell them because I do tell them like what's going on. They could actually go to the selectmen meeting if they just want to watch the part about mm -hmm. whatever Sidewalks. you know gets there, you know. And then maybe they'll watch something else. But at least they don't. If they have to sit there and try to like get to the middle of the meeting, they're not going to do it because. Of, you just lose patience. Yeah. And you know, that's that's another little thing that's in the back of my mind is I need to put in some mechanism um, so that the user can select <coughs> the stop the start time. And you know, one thought I had was at least get some sort of form that people can click on that says, I want a special video snippet with this start and stop time so that I can at least uh, get the feedback of you know what what I'm not picking up that I ought to be. Because I, I do try to be objective and, and, and get everything of interest, but I make mistakes too. You know, so. And that's is software or what? all software. Yeah, it's all okay. me generating all that. Everything you saw tonight is uh, software that I wrote. And it's all in. Uh, well, I won't get into the technology because I don't want to bore you. But uh, yeah, it's all written by me in in, in modern uh, auditory and technology. So you selling that software? <laughs> Uh, it is available for adoption. I would love it. I would love it for an appropriate entity to adopt it, where it can be more fully uh, uh, brought to bear. Um, because me doing it alone, there are restrictions that I have, like you know, going out to the town website and scraping uh, all of the all of the files for the agendas and minutes. That's a lot of labor that shouldn't be necessary. If it were adopted by the town, then it would simply be there. You know. I, I wouldn't have to, to deal with that. I could actually uh, enhance uh, the uh, the actual posting of the minutes and agendas rather than what appears to be today, them just taking files and, and throwing them in a particular file location. And those file names have very different formats, and that's one of the problems. How do you get a date off a file name when everyone has their own favorite file name or file date format, which changes from month to month or Person to person. You know, well, I mean, so. and if you can just go to the meeting and then go to the, all the applicable documents. Yeah, but how do I know the date of the meeting unless I look at the file name? And the file names, you look at the file names, they all got different fonts. Yeah. You get year, month, day, day, month, year. You get sometimes it's November right. 2, and sometimes the, there's no space between the November and the 2. There's all kinds of variations right. out there. I had to write software to encompass all of that. It was uh, rather laborious. <laughs> But it was also a technical challenge, which uh, I enjoyed. Anything else, Regina? No, that's good. Good information. I, I want to mention that um, that you went out and bought, and I'm going back to that Governor Sununu thing. <laughs> you went out and bought some software so that you could enhance the videos. And, um, and I think that's fantastic. <coughs> and a lot of people were very happy that you did that, including myself and a lot of others, because... They wanted to watch that meeting, you know. Um, I think it's wonderful that you're able to do that. I don't know where we're going to go next with this. Um, we may want, I'm, I'm going to table this um, so that perhaps we can bring it up at our, in a future meeting after we have a new board as well um, and talk about this. I think that, Regina, it's, um, you know, as a selectman, if, if if the Channel 22 wanted to right, adopt this yeah. type of thing, um, the the other thing would be the only the thing I mentioned to you before that came to my mind is the Lane Memorial Library, where because you're creating a historical record basically, and it's a really valuable thing. Now I know that I volunteer with the library and I index the Hampton Union newspaper, and there are many 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 years of 
Hampton Unions in that um, in the uh, Lane Memorial Library. You can search by title, by person's name, by subject, and all of those things. And this is similar, except what you're doing is cutting edge, and it's wonderful. And it allows, like you said, if you want to research uh, the grist mill, you can all right, grab all those. Lot, yeah. You know, you can grab all those chunks from, and it'll all the different meetings and everything else that have happened over the last few years. If you want to try to remember, well, what was said, you know, back a couple of years ago, and that's a really valuable tool. So, thank you very much for um, for doing all that work. It's obvious that you put a lot of work in. Well, thank you for you the inspiration, good job. Mr. Chairman, because frankly, on the video side, you know, putting all that together. I used to do that with database queries and just doing it manually, and, and to me it was almost easy because of, you know I have I know the technology. Mm -hmm. But when I thought about introducing it to you guys, when you asked me to do the intro, I'm like, I'm going to be boring everyone to death if I go through all that technical stuff. No, we don't. So want I to hear figured, it. well, I'll enhance the website and say, push this button, push that button, right. and you know what? I like it better even too myself. And, so, I, and I know that. Thank the, you for the inspiration. Yeah, I know. Well, Regina, just recently there was. You know, when when you sent out those slices, because you do it usually a day or two after the yeah. meeting, and it's it is a valuable thing, and it's kind of neat because you can do what you said. You don't have to try to find, especially if it's a long meeting, right. if it's a two three hour meeting, you don't have to try to find that one thing you're looking for. Mm -hmm. you just bang, and you can see it, and it is valuable. So thank you very much. I, for now, if anybody else have any questions or comments for Tim, because if not, I'm going to just table this for now because we might want to bring it up in the future. You may want to. You may have some suggestions in the future as well. That being the selectman, you know, you might have some, and somebody else might have some thoughts and say, "Gee, this is something. This is a useful tool. You know, maybe we could do this or that with it." I can't think of anything other than the, you know, it is valuable to us as a budget committee because it allows us to search for things that and do our research. And but I also think it has value with the uh, town library because it's a, it's a, it's a resource for everybody in town, not just these boards. Um, so thank you very much. All right, thank so you. moving right along on the agenda, um, we have Barbara notified me that, thank you very much, Barbara. We have um, three outstanding um, minutes, meeting minutes that we need to, um, to accept. So I have um, December 19th, January 9th, and also January 11th meet minutes for the uh, minute meeting. Does anybody have any changes to uh, the minutes for December 19th? Okay. Um, would I? I'd like a motion, please, from somebody to I accept. move. Tim. Tim moves, and uh, Regina seconds the minutes for December 19th. And since nobody has any um, changes, then if you Please raise your hand if you will accept these minutes as they are presented. And we have um, everybody except those not. Bob Ladd is okay. Bob Ladd is abstaining. Barbara, everybody else voted yes. Okay, the minutes of January 9th. Um, any changes from anybody on January 9th minutes? Seeing none, um, could, I'll accept a motion. So moved. So moved by Mr. Plouffe and seconded by Regina. All those in favor of accepting January 9th minutes? No, Barbara, everybody voted yes except Bob Ladd, who's abstaining because he wasn't there. Um, and then we have the minutes from Thursday, January 11th, which was the public hearing at the Academy. Any changes from anybody on those minutes? Seeing none, um, I'll accept a motion so from... Moved. Uh, moved by Tim Jones and seconded by Mike Plouffe. All those in favor of s accepting those minutes, please raise your hand. And we have everyone, again, Barbara, except Bob Ladd. Are you abstaining? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you very much. So we're now caught up with the minutes. And I'll be able to send uh, Christina and have her post them as finished. Okay? So, oh, thank you very much. Um, so now on the, on the agenda, the selectmen's update. Do you have anything that you wish to tell us, Regina? Everyone go vote. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Does anyone have any questions? We did file the, we officially filed the lawsuit against the state of New Hampshire last week. 
still trying to figure out what's going on with, you know, the PFCs in the water. Um, I'm just, I'm getting to the point right now where I think something has to be done by Aquarian, just safety standard, because we're probably going to need to turn the well back on once we hit, you know, once we have the demand for it. And I would like something to be done prior to the water entering the system and as opposed to nothing being done. So we've got to work with Aquarian a little bit more on that. But uh, I think that they'll be able to get us through like they always do. So that's about it for right now. Thank you, Regina. Um, Bob, Bob, do you have any um, anything to report for the village district? Well, we'll have our regular monthly meeting on March 14th at the fire station at 530. And on the last Friday of March, we have the annual meeting. Voting for that meeting is from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., and the meeting itself will begin at 7 p.m. Some people get confused. You must not only be registered to vote in the town, you must be registered as a resident of the precinct to vote at the precinct meeting, which is one of the reasons we don't incorporate opinions of the budget committee, because many members of the budget committee do not live in the precinct and could not vote during that time by not being residents. So, and we would encourage everyone to vote at the town meeting, um, to vote, and to vote also and come to the precinct annual meeting in particular. What's the date again? Pardon? What's the date again? March 14th, the monthly meeting, and it's the last Friday of March is the annual meeting. Which is the 30th. Okay. Yeah. The 14th is a regular meeting, right? 14th is a regular meeting. meeting. Beach residents in the precinct don't pay the tax. Take an exemption on the tax. It's it's in the hundreds. I can't give an exact number. I was just kidding. It's like two twenty two hundred residents are properties in the precinct. I believe. Well, we got a lot of beach residents on the budget committee. Yeah. You, well, it's you have four on the budget committee yeah. tonight, and four who are not. Right? But and that is a reminder, anyone wishing to claim that exemption must do so by April 15th. As I remember when we were discussing the, the lighting for the beach, you know, and I asked the town manager why we don't go with the LED, and he said, Unitil would bill you the same 300000 for the for the lighting, the town pays three hundred thousand a year, <laughs> and putting LEDs would just—we wouldn't gain anything from the town. You know, you have to negotiate with Unitel on the on the bill for the for the lighting, because you know. Well, I'm sure the town will do what it feels best. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sonny, thank you, Bob. Um, Sonny, just for a note. Bob wasn't here when we discussed that. He was, yeah, he was out. He missed a couple. No, no, he was sick, and he, he missed a couple of things. Um, thank you, Bob. Move to adjourn. Um, we have a motion to adjourn, and do I have a second? By Regina. We are adjourning at 8.04 p.m., Barbara. Thank you, Channel 22. Sorry, all those vote. All those that want to. Please, please vote. I'll to, abstain. Okay. Sonny's abstaining. Everybody else have voted yes. <coughs> To adjourn. Thank you very much, Channel 22. Good, good motion. I like that last motion the best. Thank you.